Hey, King's Chapel. I wanted to give you a quick reminder that this Sunday we will be celebrating the Lord's Supper together during worship. And while I'm certainly looking forward to that, the reason for this video is that we'll be distributing the elements in a new way this Sunday. And so we wanted to give you a heads up on how that will all happen. So the main thing to note is that we'll have everyone come forward to receive communion rather than remaining in their seats. And we'll be offering three stations in front of each section of the sanctuary. So after I pray and set aside the elements, we'll invite you to come forward beginning with the front row and then working our way to the back of each section. When the people on your row are going forward, you're simply going to exit your seat to the right side of your row and then move forward towards the table in the front of your section of the sanctuary. Once you get up front, there's going to be two elders at each section. The first one will have a tray with the bread, which you'll receive and eat. The second will be holding a tray of grape juice, which you'll receive and drink. If you are with your spouse or your family, we'd encourage you to come forward, receive the elements, and then take them together at the same time, starting with the bread, then taking the cup. After you've received the elements, you'll go back to the left side of your row and return to your seat. I think once sort of we get all this started, it'll be obvious how this will all work. Also, the bread. It will be a shortbread recipe that we've used here for years at KCP. It will be broken up in trays, but if you'd prefer a gluten-free option or to use the prepackaged elements instead, those will be available at the center station in the front of the sanctuary. Hey, lastly, I hope that you'll use the next few days to prepare your hearts for this moment in our service. The Apostle Paul calls for each of us to examine our hearts before receiving the body and blood of Jesus Christ. And so we don't want to come in a trivial way. So spending some time seeking reconciliation with the Lord where there's unconfessed sin or with other believers where there might be an issue in your heart or where forgiveness and mercy needs to be extended and received is really important. This table is a sign and a seal of our fellowship with Jesus and with one another. And so repentance, even in matters that seem trivial or small, is how we come before this holy meal with humility and appropriate reverence. And for those who come in that manner, well, they receive the greatest blessings that God has to offer. So I can't wait to see you all at worship this Sunday as we dive into chapter 3 of the book of Jonah. And I look forward to celebrating the Lord's Supper with you in, the new, in this new way this weekend. So I hope you have a great weekend and look forward to seeing everybody on Sunday.